Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad laser project. So let's get cracking. Friends, today I'm going to teach you how to build this awesome little 6mm ball maze. Now, when you ask what 6mm, you can use a regular BB or an airsoft pellet. Friends, you put it at this end and you simply have to tilt and navigate to try and get it to the other side and get a win. Friends, let me show you how to make it. All right, friends, of course, step one is to launch Tinkercad. Friends, I always sign. Friends, of course, visit Tinkercad.com, and I always choose Sign in with Google. Then we can hit Plus and choose 3D Design. Let's start by naming it. It's going to be Ball Maze. I have made a few of these, so I'm going to call this version 3. I'm going to change my grid so that it fits my laser cutter. When you click up here, I need to type 400 by 400. If you have a smaller laser cutter, you can type that in as well. To lock it in, simply click out here. We are going to use an amazing shape called the soft box. When you type soft, it'll appear. I highly recommend you making it a favorite. If you do make it a favorite, the next time you want to use it, you'll be able to find it right in there. Notice they do take a moment to load, but bingo, you've got it. So we're going to take this and we're going to put in some special numbers. I want you to do 70 and press enter. I want you to put 90 and press enter. We're going to choose a Z of 4 and we're going to do a wall of 6 and then just leave the outer radius alone. Friends, we're going to cut this sweet little ball maze out of cardboard. This is going to be the outside that keeps the ball from rolling off. We're going to also use it for a couple other cool things. I'll show you that in a minute. But that's how fast we made part number one. Now I want to use this also for the bottom of the project. So we're going to do Control D. Friends, drag it across or watch this. If you do Control D and use your arrow keys, it stays in line. That makes it faster for aligning later. And then we're going to simply take the wall and slide it up into the 40s or 50s so it's a solid part. You instantly have the bottom and you have the sides. Friends, we're going to click on this and do Control D and let's do Shift Down Arrow. This is going to be the middle section and we need a way for the ball to come out. After it falls through, we'll make the top in a moment. We're going to simply bring out the hole, select those two pieces, choose a line, make the yellow one the boss, choose the middle, and group them. So now this part is on the bottom. We're going to put two of these up here. Let me do control D and let's do shift nudge to move that across. Once again, so cool that we're keeping them in line and making sure that we have a gap in between them. That looks pretty cool. Now friends, let's go up to the top, do control D, shift move to get it to the other spot. And then also make another layer of this. All those shift nudges, make sure we get them lined up, which is nicer for laser cutting. Those two are not exactly beside each other. Now they are. Friends, I'm going to make this one blue just because that way it's easier to tell what I'm doing with it. And it's going to be my top. Friends, before I go any further, let me show you how this is going to work. These two layers with the hole, they'll go right here to let the ball go out. We'll have the cool little maze, which we're going to cut out in a minute. You can see the bottom goes there, and then we're going to stack these two on top. That's the way the project works. I'm going to move this over here, but at least that way you got to see what we're building and why we're building it. So I'm going to choose this corner to be the end, but I want to make sure I don't run into where these edges will be. So I'm going to do Control D and I'm going to nudge this up so that we can see it better. That way it lines up and you can tell where you're going to put things. We're going to put a hole out here. Now remember, I am using a 6mm airsoft pellet. So I'm going to simply do Shift Stretch and I'm going to type 10 for the size of the hole. This is a decent size hole for the ball to go through as you try and win the game. Now I want to stagger these throughout the project, so I'm going to do Control D, couple shift nudges, Control D, move that one where I want. Just make them so they're wherever you think is cool in your project. You can have as many as you want. You just want to make sure it is winnable. Don't make it too difficult. 
real quickly just so you can see how big these are I'm gonna put the work plane right there I brought out a sphere I'm gonna hold down shift and stretch it to crazyville I'm gonna type 6 and press enter that's how big the airsoft BB is it's gonna roll through this maze so it just gives you an idea I'm also gonna leave it right here because that's where I want the project to always start from I'm gonna put the work plane back on the ground and I want to add a square once again shift stretch but we want the size to be 10 when you hold shift they all adjust the same amount I'm gonna put a little square hole right there I'm also gonna put in a triangle hole this one I gotta look at it from the corner friends there is a cool trick called shift if you do shift rotate it goes 45 degrees at a time so it's real easy to stand that straight up I'm gonna press D to drop make it a hole and then I'm going to squeeze it to whatever size I want. Put that in whatever location I want. You can also use the sweet mirror tool to flip it so it's aimed the other way. Adjust, have fun, make this as cool as you can. Now I also want little cardboard bumpers in here. You can see I've got them right here. Watch this if I do hide. I'm cutting in little notches so that they stay where they're supposed to. So we're going to do that real quickly. I'm going to simply grab this part, hit Control D quick, and I'm going to shift nudge so we can see it. And I'm going to make it four in this direction. So it is a four by 10. When I put this in, I can put it close to this wall and then the tab is going to stick out this way. I want to put one over here too. So I'm going to protect this area, Control D. I want to rotate this. There's my rotation handle. Once again, I am going to hold down that shift so it snaps super fast. I'm going to make one more of those, Control D, and I'm going to move this one down here, and I'm going to give it a rotation. Once again, shift rotate so it snaps at a 45 degree angle. Bingo, there's my maze. I'm not going to add any more pieces so I can delete the yellow piece, and we can see that now that's how they're all going to fit. I'm going to delete the ball. And if we group those, our creation, friends, we have our tabletop for our game ready. Friends, let's make that wall really fast. Bring out a cube, and I'm going to tell you we want these measurements. Make it 12 this way. Make it 15 this way. And, of course, we're cutting out a cardboard, so I like to show it as 4 millimeters thick. Let's do Control D. Bring this piece down. We're going to make this a hole. And in this distance, we want it to be 5 and in this distance we want it to be five when you select those two click a line make the red one the boss pop pop when you group that you now have the 10 millimeter tab that sits in those grooves and you can just move them where you want to get them ready for laser cutting we simply move it over here we simply click on it and do Control d i'm going to do shift nudge to move it over when you let go if you don't touch anything else you can do Control d one more time and bam your project is complete i notice these three aren't perfectly aligned it doesn't matter but it is so easy to fix pop pop now those are lined up everything else looks pretty spiffy and we are ready to send it to the laser I'm gonna delete this piece because I don't need it here. And if you're in a classroom, it's time to find out how your teacher wants this to work. If your entire project is getting exported, simply hit export and you're gonna export as an SVG. Mine always ask where I wanna put it. I'm gonna choose my 3D modeling folder and it's gonna be called Ball Maze 3. Now it is possible that your teacher already cut all of these pieces and the only piece you need to export is your top because that'll be the part that'll be different. If that is the case, simply click that single shape, hit export, notice it's already set to the selected shape, and then when you save, it may automatically pick a name or you could pick a name for it. Bingo, saved and ready for laser cutting. All right, everybody, so I hope you had a ton of fun with that. Learned a lot of skills, learned how to search, adjust shapes, use those parameters to make awesome things for laser cutting. Note there is a lot more space on my laser cutter so I could make this larger, maybe use marbles, all kinds of other things. I just want you to know if you go with thicker objects, you're gonna have to use more layers for the middle as the ball falls through. But there's so much room for you to have fun and make this absolutely incredible. 
friends, I do also want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. Don't forget, it has a Tinkercad tab with tons of categories and amazing beginner lessons. And then also, down at the bottom is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, don't forget, there is also the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, I hope you all have a blast with your awesome tiny cardboard ball maze. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.